going to consider the function f of x comma y over the region defined here, where x is greater than or equal to one and less than or equal to two, and y is greater than or equal to x squared and less than or equal to four. So the region we're concerned about is graphed here on the xy coordinate plane. We're asked to evaluate the double integral where we're integrating f of x comma y over the region d. And notice how they do specify we want to integrate with respect to x first and then y. Let's first take a look at this in 3D. The graph of f of x comma y is this blue plane. The region of integration is this region here in the xy plane. Notice how the blue plane is non-negative over this region, which means the double integral is going to give us the volume bounded by the plane in the xy coordinate plane over the region of integration, which should be the volume of this solid here. So going back to our work, let's set up the double integral. The integrand function is f of x comma y equals 3x plus 4y. And we're asked to integrate first with respect to x, then with respect to y. Now let's work on determining limits of integration for x. Notice how we're going to start integrating here, where x equals positive 1, which is a lower limit of integration. And we stop integrating with respect to x along this curve here, where the equation of this curve we know is y equals x squared. But to find the upper limit of integration, we need to have this solve for x, not y. So if we take the square root of both sides of the equation, we would have x equals plus or minus the square root of y. But because we know that the x values here in the first quadrant are positive, the piece of the graph we're concerned about would be x equals the principal square root of y. And therefore, the upper limit of integration for x is going to be the square root of y. Again, we're only using the principal square root of y because we know x is positive in the first quadrant, and therefore, we're only concerned about the principal square root of y. And then for the limits of integration for y, we're going to start integrating here at 1, and then stop integrating here where y equals 4. So this is a double integral that's going to give us the volume bounded by f of x comma y in the xy coordinate plane over the given region. Now that we have this set up, let's go ahead and evaluate this on the next slide. So we first integrate with respect to x, treating y as a constant. So we'd have 3 times x squared divided by 2, or 3 halves x squared, plus 4y times x, or 4xy. Now these are limits of integration for x, now I'll perform substitution for x. So when x is equal to the square root of y, we'd have 3 halves times the square root of y squared plus 4 times the square root of y times y. And then when x is 1, we'd have 3 halves times 1 squared plus 4 times 1 times y. Now we simplify. The square root of y squared would be y, so we have 3 halves y. Now the square root of y is equal to y to the 1 half. y to the 1 half times y to the first is equal to y to the 3 halves. So we have plus 4 y to the 3 halves. Then we're going to have minus 3 halves. And here we're going to have minus 4y. Let's go ahead and combine like terms. We have 3 halves y minus 4y, that's negative 5 halves y, plus 4y to the 3 halves, minus 3 halves. So now we integrate with respect to y. So we'd have negative 5 halves times y squared divided by 2. Now here we're going to have plus 4 times 3 halves plus 1 would be 5 halves, so we have y to the 5 halves divided by 5 halves, which is the same as multiplying by 2 fifths. So we have 2 fifths y to the 5 halves, and then minus 3 halves y. And limits of integration are from 1 to 4. Let's simplify this, and then we'll perform our substitution. So we have negative 5 fourths y squared. And then here we'll have 8 fifths, so plus 8 fifths y to the 5 halves, minus 3 halves y.
So when y is 4, we have negative 5 fourths times 4 squared plus 8 fifths times 4 to the 5 halves minus 3 halves times 4. And then when y is 1, we have negative 5 fourths times 1 squared plus 8 fifths times 1 to the 5 halves minus 3 halves times 1. So I've already evaluated this. This comes out to 25.2. Then we have minus, this comes out to negative 1.15. So this ends up being 25.2 plus 1.15, which is equal to 26.35. And again, because the function is non-negative over the region of integration, this would be volume so we can label this cubic units. So if we go back to our graph one last time, we just found the volume bounded by this blue plane and the xy plane over this bounded region here in the xy plane, which should be this volume that we see here. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.